First things first though, snacks, cause your girl, I'm a snack queen. Some of my favorite things right now. These are so light and convenient to throw in your pack if you're not bringing Kool-Aid. Why? Go Go Sweets, Costco Jerky Candy. And don't forget to take your multivitamin spam. I did today. Some oranges, berries. Okay, I've become a beverage girly since being here, so we're gonna bring a Diet Coke and a Gatorade. Also have a giant thing of extra water, charging bank, trail shoes. I put them on the opposite side as all the snacks. Pack a shell. Just gonna throw in some layers just in case I get chilly while we're out. I think, I think, I think I'm ready to go. I shoved carb gas. Check Sarah's oil. I feel like you guys don't, if you've been around for a long time, you guys know about Sarah. Or if you know me personally, if you've known me personally at all in the last decade, you know about Sarah. Sarah's my ex Sarah and she's like my favorite thing. Um, but homegirl does burn some oil, you know, a little bit, sometimes a lot of it. You just have to always check. When I was in Idaho, I was grabbing gas and I laughed so hard because this really sweet gentleman was like, I think you're the first girl I've ever seen check her oil. I'm impressed. I was like, I'm flattered. Thank you. I was like, but the outcome is worse if I don't check it. I know she'll stay happy if I check it. If I don't, I don't want to know the outcome. So we always check it. I don't record these things, but like feral, confused on what I want want to wear and changing. Honestly, I haven't worn these in a while. I've worn them in my last two videos because I'm hyperfixated with them right now because they're amazing. These are Denver leggings from Miles. I will link them below for you. Okay, let's go. Then I have everything I need on my passenger seat. You know? Snacks. Can't be in the back seat. It's way too far away. What if I get hungry? Okay, fam. It's go time. We're just waiting to get through the park gate here. I have my... Oh, this isn't my park pass. I need to grab my actual park pass. Barrel. An actual hot mess all the time. Sometimes I don't know how I get through life. My favorite activity to play with myself is where is anything? Keep you on your toes. All settled now, my goodness. Red Bull and a snack and we're good. Also, I have a feeling people might be like, you have a caffeine problem. I'm just saying these actually have less caffeine than a coffee. And I like the size of the cans. That's really like what my favorite part about these ones are. Highly recommend like Clogs or Brooks for your drive. It's just nice. And then when you're done hiking, you can just throw on something comfy. My trail shoes are comfy, but it's just like nice, you know, to not have your feet in little prisons when you're done. Best is adorable, but less functional. So I'm going to have to puff just in case. These are nice because they fold down small, but they don't take up a ton of space in your pack. I just like fold everything from the bottom, fold my sleeves in and then tuck it all into the hood. And then it <clears throat> goes into my pack pretty compact. I'll show you what I mean. Walkie walk, little snack snack. We are on our way. I can already tell that I should have stretched, but it was busy at the trailhead. So this trailhead is the same trailhead for five or six trails. So once I get past this kind of main part, I will stop and we'll do a little stretch. This is one of those like would make a cool photo, but not going to be that person. So Perfect reflection, chain link fence. We're not gonna be that person. I just got up to the third pool here. <clears throat> I came, so it's December right now, so it is, it, oh my goodness, I can't talk. It's definitely later in the season, 
So the pools are pretty low right now. I have been here earlier in the year and the water is usually higher, but it's still beautiful regardless. I'll show you. I'll take a little video to show you, but it's beautiful. I'm going to hang out, have a little snack quick, and then scurry back down and probably go take a peek. I'm at the upper pool right now, so I'll go probably take a peek at the middle and lower. And that's on going to parks in off season because ooh, it's off season right now in Zion and I was like I'm quite literally the only person here right now which also makes recording myself in public just so much more comfortable thank the lord just on my way back down because I have a client call in a couple hours so I've got a boogie now but today has been delightful. It's gorgeous out. I normally break my days up this way where I'll do office work in the morning, then usually adventure and content in the middle of the day, sun's out, I like to be out, <laughs> and then more office work at the end of the day, and I find it works well because more than five hours in front of a screen, and I'm just not productive, and so it's like a good way to break up the day, so been a lovely day and can we just like look at this it's so beautiful out if you haven't been to zion highly recommend so many people asked why utah so one the first time i came to zion was in 2015 and it was phenomenal that trip is burned into my memory i'm a sunshine girly and I had planned a trip out to the coast, and then it was raining. No one's surprised. I love the coast, but my goodness, why does it have to rain so much? Um, so at the last minute, I pivoted and came south. Um, and I, I don't know, that trip is just like ingrained in my memory and will be for till the end of time. Um, I came down and did Zion, Bryce, Arches, Canyonlands, Moab, I think that's it, I think that was it, and it was amazing, and I've wanted to come back ever since, I came down to this area again last year, and it just wasn't enough time, um, I got everything in my life kind of in order to be able to come down here when my divorce should have been finalized, and it is not finalized and that's okay for final stretching right now and like it should be hopefully finalized soon um but it was just time like with my divorce coming kind of to a close and everything like everything was done i just it needed i needed change we can't heal in the same environment that we hurt in i needed to leave because it gave me the opportunity to close that chapter and it gave me the opportunity to no longer be, like be in that and working through that because i worked through that and i don't need to keep living in that space anymore and it doesn't mean that i'll never go back or it doesn't mean that i'll stay here forever i also don't look at things nearly as permanently as i used to and i think that's probably just a side effect of divorce but I think that going somewhere new gives you perspective. It allows you to no longer quiet any parts of your personality. I know for me, I worked through a lot and I feel like I really grew into myself in the last few years, but one of the biggest things was I was still, like I would still kind of shy away or like turn in or for certain things and leaving helped me really get out of that shell in that like who cares like I actually don't care I laugh now because I'm like I'm the girl that like goes to the park sets my tripod up I talk and record by myself and there's people around and I'm like I actually just don't care anymore whereas at home I wouldn't like I would have never done that and now I just don't care. Life is short, just go live life however, however you want because at the end of the day, people are gonna judge you no matter what. So let them judge, at least if they're, here's the thing, people are gonna judge you no matter what. So you better be living your freaking best damn life. Cause they're gonna say weird things anyway. So you might as well be flipping happy. 
because they're going to talk no matter what. Here's the thing. Happy people don't talk about other people. So the people that are going to talk about you, genuinely, I hope that people understand that and that if you talk about other people, it's coming from a place of like, you're just not quite ready yet to explore your own self, to get to know yourself and really dive into like all of your goals and dreams and everything else. I wholeheartedly believe that. And so when people talk about me or say unkind things about me, I'm like, am I cringy? Yeah, probably. But you know what? I'm also really happy and I'm also really healthy. And I also love my job and I love my life. And I've never had better friendships or better relationships with my family. So if that's cringy, that's okay. <laughs> like I'm okay with that. I don't think I'm toxically positive. I think I talk about pain a lot. I think that I'm just delusionally optimistic. And I also think that um, I'm hardwired to think about productivity. And so I, a big part of me is like, the time that people spend talking about other people is time that they could be spending working on themselves. And life is just so short. So I really wanna be the best version of myself while I'm down here chilling on, on the earth because there's so many beautiful things to see. And I just, we ain't got time, you know? We ain't got time to not be seeing the cool rocks. The earth is really beautiful. I wanna see all the things. So um, we gotta be productive over here. We don't have time to be, like if you're happy, I'm happy for you. And if you're doing something strange, as long as it doesn't hurt anyone else, I quite literally don't care because a lot of the things that make me happy are probably super strange to other people, but that's okay. In fact, I know that a lot of those things are strange, but you know what? I also know that most people in my life are like, that's just her. <laughs> I told my family I wasn't coming home for Christmas and we had such a good laugh. Everyone was like, we know. I was like, what do you mean you know? And they were all like, oh, we knew that you weren't coming home. I was like, what do you mean you knew I wasn't coming home? All of them were like, we knew. We just had to let you get to a point where you knew you weren't coming. I was like, okay. <laughs> like, they know that. And I know that to a lot of people, not going home for Christmas is like a, why would you do that? But everyone in my life that knows me knows that, like, that my soul just needs that right now. And I know that that probably sounds like backwards and funny and weird to a lot of people, but my soul needs that right now. My birthday is the day after Christmas and December has always been a really rough month for me. I have like some Christmas jarrings that I haven't entirely worked through and doing Christmas this year in a different place independently gives me the opportunity to heal those wounds. And it's important that we do that because no one else can do that for us. Our darkest our darkest places, those spaces where you're like, can someone just come and take this away? They can't. Someone can love you to the ends of the earth and they can't take that away from you, even if they really want to. But you know what? You're strong and you can do it yourself. You don't need anyone else to come rescue you from your pain. You don't need, to, you don't need someone to save you. You don't need someone to help you from this. You can do this. You can do this all on your own. I know that you can do it all on your own because you survived it already. So working through like the last little loose ends of it, the lingering pieces of it, you can do that. I read something a while ago that said that trauma is just stress that our body hasn't processed entirely and let go of. I got my first Christmas alone when I was 15 and that was tough, that was hard on me. Um, there's a part of me that never accepted that I could be sad about it. I never gave myself permission to be sad about it. So I delayed being able to work through that for so long and just carried like all of these weird feelings around Christmas. And now I'm finally at an age where like I can work through that and I can let go of that. And I get to heal that on my own this year. And I'm really excited for that. Anyways, that's why Utah. I wanted warm weather because I'm happier when the sun is beating on my skin. I had good memories here. I could drive home if I needed to or fly home if I needed to. So I came to Utah and I like it. 
came to your town, I like it.